Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about the Rifamycins, and it's going to be represented by these rifle mice over here. These mice over here have these rifles, and we'll explain who they're shooting in a second, but rifle mice for Rifamycins. And the two specific ones that we need to know about are Rifampin, represented by this one on the amp, this rifle mouse on the amp, and Rifambutin, represented by this one on the bottle. So Rifamycins are used in the treatment of tuberculosis. Let's take a look over here. Here we have this TB guy, this TB policeman over here. It's going to remind us of tuberculosis. And specifically, the rifamycins inhibit DNA-dependent RNA polymerase. So the rhino policeman over here is going to remind us of the RNA polymerase. And it's being inhibited by the rifle mice. Let's take a look at this policeman's car over here. He's a big fan of leopards, and that's why he has a picture of a leopard on the side of his car over here. But the leopard is going to help us remember that rifamycins are also used to treat leprosy, as leprosy is caused by Mycobacterium leprae. But then we note someone come at then we note this guy coming out of the back of the police car over here. Who is this guy? He showed up in our Haemophilus influenza video because this is Haman with his foot in the flute. Haman's foot in the flute for Haemophilus influenza, and he has a B on his head just to help us remember that we're focusing on type B. Besides tuberculosis, rifamycins can be used to treat infection by Haemophilus influenza type B. Actually, rifamycins are used for meningococcal prophylaxis and chemoprophylaxis in context of children with Haemophilus influenza type B. Now let's take a look at these mice over here one more time. You might have noticed that it's on this amp over here, the mouse had some urine that was red and orange. This is to help us remember that taking rifamycins can cause bodily fluids, such as urine and tears, to become orange red in color, which may be alarming, but it is actually completely benign. Actually, on each of these rifles over here, we see that there's the CP450 logo. In the scene, it makes the rifles look kind of cool, but for our purposes, it's to help us remember that rifamycins are well-known P450 inducers, and they can increase the rate of metabolism of other drugs that are cleared by the liver through the P450 system. And while we're discussing this point, we can let us me make mention that actually rifambutin, represented by the mouse on the bottle over here, is favored over rifampin in patients with HIV infection due to less cytochrome P450 stimulation. So we'll give this mouse a hive over here to help us remember that rifambutin is preferred in HIV patients. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the rifamycins. Stay tuned for our next video in pharmacology.